All right, you guys, what does the Dogecoin Millionaire Doge and TRX Tron have in common? So I'm gonna do a React video here. And this guy, I gotta say, I felt bad for this guy. His take was worth about $3 million at the height of Dogecoin. And he held on, he was a true believer. Anyways, I'm sure a lot of you know, but let's get into the video and let's have a little talk here in React. Dogecoin. What's going on, guys? Prudinoge here. And today, <laughs> so I got to say, you know, start this guy is, there's bits where it's just, it's hysterical. And at the same time, I feel bad while he makes me laugh. And of all the people that I would watch in videos that I've seen, there's probably nobody that I would want more to be worth millions of dollars because I felt so terrible for him that he held on and that he just sat there and watched the coin just get destroyed from its high of 70 something cents approximately where it was to where it ended up. So, okay, here we go. All right, start the video off talking about an article or a news story that came out related to Dogecoin and I'll go into that and kind of explain it and my take on it and what I think, right? So today we're doing something completely different, not completely different, but you know, it's gonna be different. Uh, before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, notification bell and all that good stuff so you don't miss any more in future videos. Uh, we're gonna dive right into this and I wanna talk about floors. I wanna explain, so the difference between what the potential of where dogecoin can actually go so here's the thing he has no idea and nobody does for that matter what the potential is of dogecoin the only person that may have a little bit of an idea perhaps might be elon musk because he bought twitter and a lot of people think Myself included, I don't really know what I think, but I think it's, I guess I do think it's possible. Maybe he may find a way to intertwine the importance of Dogecoin with Twitter and payment processing, but I'm not convinced. I think that, you see, there's so much hype in the industry. And this is one of the commonalities, similarities, when I say, what does Tron TRX even have to do with this React video? Because I will make videos that, you know, have nothing to do with Tron TRX as well, of course. But one of a couple of things, the first thing is the surprise element. So when you're holding a coin and you're sitting there, obviously nobody buys it, whatever the coin is, whether it's Doge or, you know, Tron TRX, ADA, it doesn't matter. No one's buying it saying, you know, Hmm, I would like to lose a lot of money and I would like to stay trapped in this coin for the rest of my life and go along with all the bumps, bruises, scrapes, punches in the face, kicks in the groin and continue to experience this, right? People typically are not gluttons for punishment and they don't want to mentally abuse themselves. So they buy because they want to make money. But what happens is when you get caught up in the smoke and mirrors, and that's not even the right term, just the, the hype, and you see the price shoot, you have to know that you're gonna sell and you need to tell yourself, listen, I'm gonna sell when this coin hits X, whatever that price is, and then regardless of what happens, do it. Otherwise, you end up in a situation where unfortunately, and again, if you don't have enough life experience, this can also happen to you like it happened with, um, and his story is still not written. You know, he may very well make millions of dollars and sell, but the odds are now against him because of what already happened. Um, anyway, let's get back to the video and I'll, I'll, I'll get into more later. And how low those can actually get, right? Um, that wasn't, so that information wasn't, available up until recently okay up until recently it, it was all complete speculation it was like okay i don't think it'll go lower than this i don't think it'll go that but we don't have any factual evidence to really back those claims up right um and basically what happened is the same thing on a way larger scale than what happened when i first invested in dogecoin so let me explain what i'm talking about um when dogecoin first started climbing up uh before it, it boomed uh this was all about january okay so 
around this time I had invested in GameStop and I was like, okay, after understanding what GameStop was doing, after understanding what the retail investor was doing, I was all about it. I was all for it. This, this revolution in, uh, in, in, in the way money's seen and, and See, the thing is, is he was involved in what I would call the perfect storm. And when you're involved in the perfect storm where money's being printed like crazy, COVID's running rampant, new technologies are, 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 are mooning like crazy, cryptos are doing the same, you can become, and this isn't a slight against him or anyone like him, but you can become a bit punch drunk in your belief in yourself and your ability to forecast the future and why wouldn't you anybody would because listen everything you're doing seems to be going right and the i's seem to be dotted the t's seem to be crossed so one would think again this is where life experience comes in one would think that this could just be you know a, a, a mega jackpot as they say and could just keep going up and up and up and up and that's just not the case with crypto what we can do to actually win in this game of uh, of the stock market of crypto of money that only the rich people get to play and only the rich people have been able to make money up until very recently right so we were all like kind of new to this in a sense that we didn't realize how much power the retail investor really had until all these things took place right so in january i'm like all over reddit right i'm, I'm reading up about GameStop. The only reason the retail investor had the power, unfortunately, and I say unfortunately because retail investors do not really have a lot of power, don't kid yourself, is because all these market conditions created the perfect storm with crypto, with, you know, the virus, with money being printed, with the big companies jumping in to the cryptocurrency. So I'm not gonna repeat everything I said before, but basically it was the perfect storm and it creates a false sense of security. So I don't want you guys that are watching that are involved in you know, Tron or, or, or BitTorn or whatever coins to think that you must stick it out. If you get yourself in a position where you basically have life-changing money at your disposal. Sell. There's nothing wrong with selling. You can go buy back in. And it doesn't even mean that you don't believe in a project or that you're letting anyone down like he thought, which is another reason why he deserves the money because he was, you know, I think his heart was in the right place even though he should have sold. So let's let's look at more. Up about uh about uh, Wall Street bets, what they're doing, what they think, what the move is, what, what, what are we what are we getting together to go do? Like, what are we really gonna change? And I invested money in GameStop myself because if anything, just for the, the, the ju just for the sheer opportunity to be a part of this change in the system, right? I ended up losing money, that's fine. But that ended up being a blessing in disguise because me losing money in GameStop allowed me to do even more research and find out about Dogecoin and understand the shift in the market where the retail investor, especially on, on Robinhood, was pissed and frustrated that the system failed them. See, I believe the problem here with him and what I'm concerned about is that I hope he doesn't think he knows more than he actually knows. Not a knock against him, again, but Nobody knows where crypto is going. Nobody knows where an individual coin is going. What everybody does know and understand is, you know, what price they bought into something at and maybe what price it's at now and what that means to them if they're in profit. So I'm going to fast forward through the video. You all can go and watch it. Obviously, the title of the video is right here. Dogecoin price prediction based on facts. But let's jump. I'm at the two minute 51 mark of the video so if you've watched along till here and hit the bell subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button two minutes 51 seconds and now i'm going to jump just so you know when you go back to the video where where we were i'm going to jump to maybe the uh where there's a couple minutes left 17 minute mark or so karma is a smart shopping app that saves you so much money it will blow your mind Um, the year to date, yeah, we're down 27%, but in the past year, uh, we're also down, uh, $539,000 and of all time, we are up 
thousand dollars so i believe that's his dogecoin position from the beginning and you can get into more detail if you go and watch his video of course um yeah and look at this i just activated uh this new feature robin hood has where they will pay you 3.75 percent interest on any cash you have in robin hood that isn't so in my opinion i wouldn't mess around um with robin hood and i guess you know that's a personal opinion but i'm just gonna fly past this because i don't want to look like i'm even wanting you guys to watch that i don't do a lot of edits so that's why i won't go back and, and edit possible that we go back to the floor it is but is it possible for dogecoin to drop below five cents i can i can i can tell you guys i highly doubt that okay here's here was the floor for years See, here's the problem. It can go to zero. And he he still, after all this, after getting to the point where he had $3 million, if he'd have just pushed the sell button and has watched it come all the way down, and he still says things like, you know, he doesn't think it's going to or believe it could go below, I think he said, you know, five cents, which I don't know. I, I, I think that... It just it, it it's surprising to me at this point that he he has not I'm not even sure what the right term to use is here. So because again I don't wanna I, I don't wanna come across as negative towards him because I'm not. I, I'm doing a react video. Okay. We had this run up. This is a new floor. This is a new floor right here. So if Dogecoin ever goes back to six cents or five cents, better believe I'm loading up because this is proven to be the floor in my eyes. Okay, my position in case you know, now you know, 3.9 million Dogecoin. And in my opinion, if it goes lower to five than five cents at this point, even after Musk bought Twitter, again, not investment advice, just my opinion. I personally would be terrified if that happened and especially if I was in his position. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Let me know, comment down below if you like this format of video.